Well, I guess uh, welcome to my first impressions video of the dancer. And it's uh, this character right here. And um, yeah, I guess the uh, special uh, ability is... Um, hmm. Where is it? Oh dear. Well, I guess we're gonna be seeing what it does as soon as it charges up. And um... Yep. Freezes all enemies and rapidly increases your uh, damage. Or drastically increases your damage, so that's a pretty good ability to have. Okay, so, um, there's a mole. Let's drive some more attack speed. And, hmm. Let's also upgrade the shop. That's a fine experience, does it, if you, uh, if you are new to the game and want to know what that does. And let's also grab some boots of agility. And another boots of agility. And realize I'm out of money. Explore, please. So yeah, this is one of those games like Potato, except uh, you're fighting the sleep paralysis demons, and um, that's the basic plot of this game. You're just trying to help some uh, streamer get some sleep, and not have insomnia. So, um, that's about as uh, much plot as there is in this game. I guess it's a little bit more plot than uh, Potato, but no oh well. That game never really needed a plot to have fun. Hmm, let's try some more speed by 2%. And, um, hmm. Let's see now. I guess I can go for the, uh, hunting axe, or, hmm. Yeah, let's go let's throw around with the hunting axe. Yeah, this is a melee only run. I'm gonna stick with that theme. Along with it being a first impressions video of, uh, the dancer class of this game. Hmm. Right, so that's the mold, uh, done away with. Right, so that takes care of that level. And, um, let's grab 7% pickup range, going and get the boots of agility. And now um, that's a two star. Now it has ele plus 11 attack speed, plus 7 speed, and minus 5 max HP. How lovely. And let's unlock, uh. Oh. Well, there goes all my money. I was gonna get the Flaming Blade. We can get that anyways, so we can, uh, grab it next time around the shop. Because, uh, upgrading the shop also unlocks, uh, weapon slots and armor slots for you. So, yeah. I guess you always do the, uh, upgrading the shop. Even if you don't want to focus on the lower tier items. Hmm. Let's see now. Right, so let's just try and catch them all. And that's uh, one of the main grants I have with this uh, game, is this stupid mole. If only that was uh, made to be easier to uh, deal with. But nope, it has to run around like a chicken with its head cut off uh, around the map. Oh dear. So let's just uh, fire out the ability and that freezes all the enemies so you can uh, get some easy kills and um, yeah, that's what that does. And it also drastically increases your the damage you do against the enemies, so that's pretty nice. Hmm. Let's go, uh, re-roll. And again. Oh, hey. Avoided tendencies. Plus 15 evasion, plus 1 HP, recovery on evasion. I think I like the sound of that one, so, um, yoink. And I can finally afford the flaming blade. Oh boy. That's gonna be fun to play around with, for me. Um... And, um, here, is another one. So that's going to be handy. Hmm, well I did a third one. No, but there's a second training dagger. Hmm. Oh, hey. Third flaming uh, blade. And another hunting net. That's going to be important for, to uh, just get this up to two stars. Let's explore, please. Because I just realized I'm broke. Okay. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I don't like them all. Okay, time to, uh, lure you into the, uh, Flaming Blade Strike. And, um, yeah, I guess that's what the Flaming, oh, the Flaming Blade does. Or whatever it's called. Yep, it's Flaming Blade, not Flame Blade. Even though that made more sense. Oh well, it is what it is. Okay. Well, I was gonna fire off the ability right there and just, uh, deal with the rest of the enemies, but, oh well. 
Oh, hey, plus it's percent damage. Yoink. Hmm. Okay, so nothing here outside of the Helios Rain, so. You know that she's straight, let's take it. Hmm. There's the training batter I needed for the two star training batter. Now, where's the hatchet? You hoo, hatchets, where are you? Oh dear. Looks like there's no hatchets here, but uh, I'll take the flaming blade for the uh, tier uh, three, eventually. Hmm. Maybe I should ditch the uh, hunting ads for the uh, chain lighting. Sorry. You know what? I think I like that idea better. And um, hmm. I guess I'm gonna be using this uh, flaming blade tier one as a weapon. Until I can make one more gold coin, cause that's all I need to uh, get the chain lightning sword, and that's kind of frustrating for me. Yep. I guess that's kind mildly infuriating. So, um... Right. Okay, so that phone got one-shotted, so that's good. And it didn't get me anything at all for that. Oh well. I guess it is what it is. Okay, let's time to uh, deploy the ability where it freezes all the enemies and uh, gives you massively more damage, and that's always a good thing. So I guess the dancer's ability is um, kind of OP, but uh, I guess it's a uh, good old kind of OP. Hmm. Let's get uh, three percent more crit chance, and finally grab the chain lightning sword. Hmm. And let's also get the flaming blade. And moving out to there, to the inventory, and move the chain lightning sword into the uh, weapon slots. Hmm. Oh dear. Well, I just went past the uh, boost of agility that I probably should have taken. Oh well. Oh hey, here's a flaming blade. Or another one. And a boots of agility. And another one. Hmm. And oh hey, here's a third Boots of Agility. What fun! I have two tier two Boots of Agility. Hmm, I'm gonna, gonna leave the Healy's Ring on. Save the Flaming Blade for later. And move on, cause I'm broke. Okay, let's try and, uh, oh, I just had some all. Yes. Early uh, game, it's kind of frustrating to deal with that stupid mole, but uh, late game, you just uh, one-shot the uh, mole at times, and um, yeah, I guess this is where the uh, ability for the dancer would come in handy, just so you can uh, one-shot that boss, or just deal with the boss a bit easier than normal, and that's always a good thing. Alright, so that's uh, floor 14 dealt with, and let's grab 6% um, more damage, please, yoink! And finally grab that stupid flaming blade that I need. Hmm. Oh, hey, another one. And another boots of agility. Yes, I'm going to tier uh, three, even though it's probably not worth my time to do it. Hmm. And there's the tier three flaming blade completed. Hmm. Dragon trait weapons have a 30% chance to cast Dragon Breath for every enemy killed. You know what? Or well, explosion trait. 7% chance to cause an explosion for every enemy killed. Hmm. I think I like that one better. And it makes more sense for the flaming blade. Hmm. Any more boots of agility game? Oh, there's a chain lightning sword. So I guess I'm gonna keep that one around. Let's floor, please. And there goes the mole. Nice and easy. Just how I like it. So yeah, that was a bit of a nothing burger for um floors. Hmm, Barton Hunter plus 40% damage for common, uncommon, and rare entrenchment. I don't think I'm going past rare, so um that's a no-brainer. Yoink! Oh hey, another training uh, dagger. And the chain lightning sword. And here's the final boost of agility that I need for the tier 3. Hmm. You know what? 
I think between these uh, stats, I think the balance one would be uh, more useful. Plus 20% damage, plus 15% range, plus 10 mass HP, plus 8 HP regen, 2. So I just now I have to work on that one. Hmm. I guess I don't really have any synergies going on. Oh well, it is what it is. So, let's just shop around for another Chain Lightning Sword. Right after I upgrade the shop. Because I think that would make uh, that a bit easier. And now I'm broke. Let's save the Lightning Necklace, because I got a Chain Lightning Sword and that would synergize pretty well. Onwards to the next floor, please. And deal with the mole in a couple of hits. And that's always a good thing when that happens. Alright, so that's uh, that nothing burger of a floor uh, dealt with. Mmm, I'll take the plus its damage, please. Alright, so what are we dealing with in terms of damage bonuses? Um, let's see now. Hmm. Oh, 22%. And yoink the lightning necklace. Mmm, nothing here. Nope. Not a zip. Zilcha, except for that lightning necklace. Yoink! And the healer's ring. So that's up to tier uh, 2, which gives me plus 18 HP recovery after battle and plus 16 HP regen. And realize that I'm broke. Let's floor, please. And time to go hunt down it. Nah. Uh, well, uh oh. It's dead. Alrighty. Before I could even finish that sentence. Oh, hey, here's a boss. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of, uh, being a bit of a nothing murder, so I guess, uh, this class is trying enough to make that a trivial matter. So let's fire out the abil ability and make that even more of a trivial matter. And there goes the ability, and there goes the boss. Oh dear. Well, I guess I fit that point in this game where, uh, pretty much nothing can really, uh, damage us enough to actually pose much of a threat. Not on wood, because I'm on floor 11. And still got 10 more floors after this one. Hmm. Let's do the 5% uh, percent crit chance bonus and have another training dider. Yoink. Hmm. Nothing. Hmm. So I want to trade out my uh, flame, flaming blade for a tear. Well, uh, icicle dider. Spawns ice storm for three seconds, dealing damage to nearby enemies. Hmm. I'm gonna have to replace my training dagger. You know what? Let's replace a training dagger. With the icicle dagger. Yoink! Hmm. Nothing here. Oh, hey, here's a lightning necklace for the tier 2 lightning necklace. And that is now plus 13% damage for lightning trait weapons and plus 14 armor. That's pretty good. Hmm. Nothing here. Nope. Z oh, hey, here's. A healer ring, so yoink. And another one. And another icicle dagger. How convenient. Hmm. But, uh, nothing here. And nothing here. Nothing here. And, um, yeah, I didn't find anything, uh, inside of uh, that. Okay, so I guess the icicle, uh, dagger thingy can also freeze the enemies, so that's gonna be handy. Oh, hey, here's a boss. Yep, that's a boss. Gotta be a mini boss at this rate. Hmm. Yep, it's definitely uh, hit the mini boss status. With how easy it is to deal with right now. Cause uh, seriously, look at it go. Look at that health bar disappear. Meanwhile, I'm still at uh, full HP, and um, that's probably not gonna change at all this uh, level. And um, there goes the mini boss. So, um, yeah, that was trivial to deal with. And that's the floor. I'll take the plus four damage, please. And the lightning necklace. How convenient for the game to just hand it to me. I always like that when it, uh, that happens. So, um, yeah. I guess we're gonna be, uh, going shopping for chain lightning swords and, um, icicle daggers. And maybe another healer's ring, too. I'll let you know, uh, when I find those items. Oh, hey, here's a lightning necklace. Yoink! And another healer's ring. And I've got two tier two uh, healer's ring. 
So I guess onwards to shopping. Oh boy. Hmm, Frosty adds some. Um, hmm. I guess that's the ice version of the uh, Flaming Blade, but now, uh, well, I'm not interested in uh, changing it out right now. You know what's frustrating? Having two of the things that I need to upgrade uh, my stuff into their next tier up uh, tiers that they're currently at, so uh, I would go from a tier 1 lightning sword to a tier 2 lightning sword, and it gets a tier 3 lightning necklace, if I'm reading that correctly. Or maybe it would just be a tier 2 lightning necklace. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a tier 2 lightning necklace. But I don't have the money to do it, because, um, yeah, I only have enough for some XP. But I'm not trying to do that. So, um, next floor, please. And time to, uh, get the money back from the, uh, mall. And, um, yeah, I see my, uh, damage is increasing at a good enough pace to deal with, uh, all the new idiots on the stream, so that's good. In fact, let's take a, take a uh, thumbnail screenshot. Hmm. Or maybe I uh, just put the uh, icon for the dancer on a black uh, thumbnail again. Or just uh, have it both ways with the uh, thumbnail too, since I can do that. And see which one is actually more effective. Hmm, I guess that's a test I didn't run now. Well, that's that nothing burger of a floor. Hmm. Plus one spear trait, nah, infinite power, minus 5% character skill cooldown when casting weapon skill, minus one all weapon skill cooldowns when casting character skill. I'm gonna play around with infinite power. And oh hey, here's another lightning uh, sword that I needed. Yoink! And an icicle dagger. Not to scare that one. Hmm. Well, where is the stuff I need for more tier, uh... 3 uh, stuff, like that tier 3 healer's ring. Hmm, maybe I should just upgrade the shop. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna upgrade the shop since I don't have any, uh... Tier 1s to upgrade, or rather commons. So, let's try the chain lightning sword. And just move on, cause I'm broke. I can't even afford a common weapon. And that's how you know you're broke. Right, um, that's that nothing better of a floor done and dusted. Hmm, 50% immediate HP recovery. Probably just wasted that one. Oh well, it is what it is. Hmm, nothing here. Uh, nope. Nope. Oh hey, there's a lightning necklace that I needed for the uh, tier 2 lightning necklace. Number 2. Hmm. You know what, Stuart? Let's play around with the Rapid Blade. See how that, how good that one is. Yeah, let's just move on to the next floor. Ultra to floor seven. And there's a mini boss here. Yep, it's uh, definitely a mini boss, and poses no real threat to me because I'm just space changing it, and it's dying. And oh, hey, there it goes. Hmm. I guess that's a womp pom for that, uh, boss. And here's another mini boss. Hmm. Or maybe I should just call them slightly stronger enemies and have a health bar. Because that's realistically what they are at this point. I'll take the 7% pickup range bonus, please. And another lightning necklace. Yoink! Hmm. Oh hey, there's a lot. Icicle dagger. And another one. Hmm. Nothing here. Nope. And, um, hmm. Got the healer's ring. I'm gonna save the chain lightning sword for later. And that icicle dagger is gonna come in handy. Just so I can reduce the uh, bloat in my inventory by a bit. Hmm. I guess I'm looking for another uh, chain lightning sword. Or an icicle dagger, which I can't afford. Yeah, I probably have what, just too much stuff in my inventory. Next floor, please. Okay, so the dif difficulty is uh, starting to ramp up a little bit. And oh, hey, it's slightly stronger enemy with the health bar. Yep, that's what they are this run. It's just slightly stronger enemies with health bars and more HP. 
I guess that's all you really need for a boss. Hmm. Yeah, it really has just become another enemy to me. Just the one with the health bar. As I keep yapping about. Hmm. And there goes the boss. Didn't even fire off that ability once. So... Let's try plus its income. And a chain lightning sword. And now we have two tier two uh, lightning swords. How lovely. Hmm. And that's an Isaac of Dagger that I prob should probably take. And another Healy's Ring. And um, I should probably upgrade the um, shop a little bit. And now I'm broke. Next floor, please. Yeah, I probably should have been working on my income uh, this entire run. But oh well, it is what it is. And then, hey, at least I have enough stopping power for this uh, floor. So, um, yeah, I'm hopefully not going to lose this run. And maybe I'll actually hit, uh, kill the boss this time. Because I don't think I've uh, done that, not even off stream. So, I guess uh, let's deal with this slightly stronger enemy with the health fire. And, oh, hey, it's um, dead and gone. So let's deal with this other uh, slightly stronger enemy. Enemy with the health bar and time to fire out the ability. And um, there goes a boss. Or rather, mini boss. Or maybe it's just a slightly stronger enemy with the health bar. Yeah. I think that uh, slightly stronger enemy with the health bar thingy is gonna get uh, beaten into the ground this run. Like so. Hmm. The 3D. Plus one rich trait. Plus 5% damage per 100 gold. Plus 500 gold, plus minus 40% uh, weapon damage. Hmm. I'm gonna play around with that. And I'll take the healer's ring. And I think I want plus 7 armor and plus 5% speed. And another lightning necklace. And a chain lightning sword. How convenient. Yes, floor, please. So that takes care of that one. And yeah, it's gonna rapidly escalate now. With the uh, DPS I can do. And, um, hmm. Well, this is a natural mini boss now, but uh, I think I can just trivialize it. Uh, yeah. I think I can just uh, get away with trivializing it now. And by that, I mean, uh, let's buy out the ability and really trivialize it and just wail away on it and laugh at it as it can't do anything before its unfortunate demise. Yep, that takes care of that. Hmm. I wonder if there's gonna be any more slightly stronger enemies with the health bar than that one. Just so I can get some chests. Well, I guess the game is gonna disappoint me. So, yeah, that takes care of that floor. That big fat nothing burger of the floor. I'll take the 4% attack speed bonus, please. And another ice adder. Hmm. Here's the lightning necklace I need for a tier 3 lightning necklace. And I guess I'll take the plus in income. You know, to help out along with that greedy trait that I have. Hmm. Golden cloak. Nah, guardian and balance. Hmm. Yeah, let's stop spending money and just move on to uh, floor three. I was going to uh, save the money anyways. Just so I can have more damage going out to the enemy. And that'd be lovely for me. But yeah, I think this is gonna be another uh, floor that I can just face tank. Thanks to how, how I built this uh, bit character up. And um, yeah, definitely feeling the face tanking on the floor. And probably shouldn't have just stood still. Hmm. Let's also try not to run it into en too many enemies. Oh, hey, there's two uh, slightly stronger enemies with the health bar. He says as he runs away to the other side of the room and fires out the ability. Hmm. Okay, let's try and deal with them in a timely fashion without panicking too much. And didn't manage to get either of them. I'll take the 6% in tat speed, please. Hmm. You know what? I'll reset to, uh, floor two without spending anything. And, um, yeah. I'm seeing, uh, 100, uh, base damage, but, um, hmm. Maybe I should fire out that ability. Yep, I'm firing it off. Before I get, uh, whacked to death by the enemies. 
But hey, at least I dealt with that batch of enemies, so it's time for a new batch. Hmm. Oh dear. Well, I guess this is a slightly stressful floor for me. Especially since I just keep charging into the crowds of enemies. Like so. Hmm. And I guess that's purely my fault. Okay, time to fire off the ability again. Because, uh, yeah, it's kind of, uh, strong. And I hope it doesn't get nerfed into the ground. Because, uh, some YouTuber decided to have fun with it. On video. And I think that's gonna be me. Plus, it's damage, please. And another chain lightning sword, please. And another rapid blade. Hmm. If I don't find the, uh... Last chain lightning sword I need, well... I guess I'm just not gonna have that one. But I'll take the tier 2 rapid blade. Hmm... Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Believe it or not, nothing here. Oh hey, chain lightnings are in tier 3 now. And, um, hmm... You know, I think I can, uh... Take the minus 8% lifesteal uh, debuff. In exchange for a plus 24 attack speed bonus uh, for that weapon. And just move on. Oh boy, here's the final floor. Let's hope I can make it past this floor. Okay, there's a boss. Now it's a proper boss since it's a natural threat to me. Because it has multiple bosses around it. Oh dear. I guess this is, uh, the part where the, uh, dev just, just decides to, uh, say screw it, and let's just throw a ton of bosses at the player. Hmm. But I do have one tier for that, uh, problem that I'm currently having. It's sent to fire out the ability. And kill a couple bosses, like so. So that reduced the, uh, DPS I'm, uh, taking, so that's, uh, nice for me. Not for the enemies. So, um, hmm. Let's see, now. Can I get in there and fire off another ability? Oh! That's that, uh, run completed. And this is a cutscene that, uh, plays, uh, to beat the run. So, let's see what we got. Oh, hey! 2,034 Dream Shards. And do you know what you do, uh, to, with the Dream Shards? You go over here, to this here Altar of Souls, and spend it! Hmm... Yeah, this is the meta progression I made, so let's get some more regen. Now it's plus six regen. And, um, hmm. Now I have plus nine armor. Okay, so that's the achievement, so... I guess that's, uh, that run. Anyways, uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind, kind of content for me. And, um, yeah. I guess I'll see you in an episode tomorrow at 4 p.m. Well, 4.30 p.m. Announce the time. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye.